Good evening, I'm Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth with WKRG News 5. We're going to dive into our little cold spell here for this Halloween and as we move into the first few days of November. Tonight, freeze warnings are in effect for counties along the Highway 84 corridor. This is Washington, Clark, Monroe, and Conecuh counties. And it is in these counties uh, where we could see actual air temperatures Wednesday morning dip down to as low as 30 degrees. So between that 30 and 33 degree range. Now, of course, this is the time of the year when a lot of farms in that area, harvesting is occurring. Any unharvested crops, now that could become an issue if with a freeze. So a couple of hours below the freezing mark will be possible Wednesday morning. Actual air temperatures will hover again in those lower 30s for those counties. But even as we move closer to I-10 and the coast, temperatures still much colder than you would expect for an early November day on the Gulf Coast. Morning lows in the 30s area wide, far below your normal morning low of 52 degrees. But we're also going to be dealing with a strong gusty wind Wednesday morning. So wind chills will be a factor. In fact, some of our more aggressive models show those feels like temperatures in the 20s for everyone, even some upper teens for a short period of time. Now as we move through the day tomorrow, lots of sunshine coming our way. Those strong winds continue. That combined with very low humidity will create a fire weather threat. So a red flag warning is in effect for the entire area. No outdoor burning. Fires could become, uh, could get out of control easily with the air as dry as it is expected to be and the winds as gust, with winds that will gust to around 30 miles per hour. And then tomorrow night, the winds begin to relax and then your actual air temperature could again fall to that freezing mark. So another freeze watch. This will be upgraded to a freeze warning Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And this one goes farther south, includes Escambia County, Alabama, northern Baldwin, northern Mobile County. It also includes George and Green counties in Mississippi. And you see the forecast temperatures again with a clear sky and a light wind, good radiational cooling. So upper 20s expected in our inland locations. We could see freezing temperatures as far south as I-10 uh, for the uh, day for the morning on Thursday. At the coast, you will of course be insulated by the water, so your temperatures will stay up a little bit. But bottom line, this is going to be an unusual cold snap here. Good news: over the next couple of days, we will start to see those temperatures rebound. In fact, high temperatures climbing back into the 70s as early as Friday.